you're looking extremely gorgeous in your new bikini. <laughs> I love it. You look far too grown up. <laughs> so I got this um, swimming costume from Leeds when me and Mummy went to um, to the shopping trip. Yeah, man. That's me. You look far too grown up in that. <laughs> okay, you can go and play now, gorgeous. Are you guys jumping straight in today? Oh, you're already half in. Esme, I dare you. I dare you. <laughs> it is in. Go on, Esme, I dare you. I triple dare you. You won't, you'll be fine. It's the best way to do it. Just dive in. Go on, on three. Two. No, <laughs> three, two, one, go! <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> Is that a bit cold, babe? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so cold! <laughs> Good morning iFam, how is everyone doing today? It's around half past ten here in Fuerteventura and we are all just chilling around the pool. Well I say we all, I'm actually sat by myself right now. Three girls are all in the pool, loving life and my dad and Chris have just gone up to the scooter that we hired out yesterday to go and tour around. Chris has just shown my dad how to work it because he's going to go on a little adventure himself this morning. So he's very much looking forward to that. Just a little update on my cold sore situation. As you can see, they are gross. Big, massive, planet-sized beasts on my top lip. They still itch, especially this one on this side. This one here is pretty much finished growing now. I can tell when they finish like developing because the, the tingle and the itch kind of goes which has stopped on this side now. This one here is still really tingly, so not sure. Yeah, I think these were about to start healing now, which is very good. I'm probably going to keep out of the pool today just to be on the safe side because getting them wet, I don't want to risk like water getting on the top and then going down to the bottom and then spreading on my bottom lip. Basically, fingers crossed after today they will start healing and go so I can enjoy the pool before the end of this holiday. It's a little bit cloudy today guys but actually I'm really thankful for it. The sun has been beaming down for the last week since we arrived and it's been lovely but this morning it just feels nice not to have to sit there like squinting like this. Speaking of which I'll take those off. <laughs> Did you shout that louder Isla? Shout it louder! <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Isla's shouting, Hi, I fam! She is looking very cute in the pool right now. Just as I turned the camera around to show you Isla, I realised there was a big smudge on the front of the lens. So, sorry guys, that was probably very, very blurry, my good morning just then. Anyway, we're going to spend the day around the pool today, have a bit of a pool party type thing. Then later on tonight, we're going into the town, which my dad is very much looking forward to. So, this little one, has developed so much in the water this holiday, haven't you? She's decided that jumping in won't kill her. And now I've she's decided to snorkel. She's decided snorkeling's fun. Are you going to do it? <laughs> you can breathe through your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Is it fun? Yeah. I'm so proud of Viola doing that. I'm sure I was way older than five years old before I could snorkel. It's Eile! Show daddy! Show daddy! She's just showing Chris who's just got back. I wouldn't do to have this on my doorstep. Whew. This place is just, it's just out of this world, literally. I've just come down the road for about 15 minutes, back to these absolutely beautiful sand dunes. Oh, I am definitely gonna miss this view. It's incredible. 
Anyway, it is coming up to 12 o'clock. Good official morning from me, guys. You haven't seen too much of me today. I've been having a little bit of a lazy morning this morning. Well, not really too lazy. I've been sorting out the vlog, taking a couple of phone calls, and I had a little bit of a nap. I didn't sleep too well last night. So I was feeling super tired at breakfast this morning. So Sarah's like, just go back to the room, get yourself a couple of hours, and feel good. So that's kind of what I did. I had like 40 minutes, not two hours, but I feel good, so it's all good. It's coming up to the time where I'm gonna to have to say goodbye to my new best friend. My little scooter. This yesterday was the best thing I have done in a long time. It was so much fun. Literally, I used to be so heavily into bikes when I was a bit younger, but my adult head being on, I find them a little bit too, I don't know, not scary. Just I don't want to put myself in that sort of risk anymore, especially for the girls and stuff like that. So I haven't ridden a bike in a little while and doing that yesterday was the best one ever. Not just feeling the wind in my hair and you know, feeling that freeness on the road, not just because of that. Just because Sarah and I got to go out and do something together and it was just absolutely epic. We've never done anything like that before together. I've never managed to get Sarah on the back end of my bikes that I've had or have. And since yesterday, it was just great. It was so good just being out together on the road and seeing some absolutely breathtaking sights together, just me and her. It's definitely a memory I'm gonna keep with me for many, many years to come from this holiday. And I'm gonna go fill it with fuel and say goodbye to her, which I'm very sad about. It's been fun. and everyone was clearing up and they're taking the food away. So unfortunately we couldn't film any of that. Izzy's got my friend Izzy and Freya and all the, and Daniel and everyone who are my friends I've met here. They are all going today at four o'clock and that's very sad. <laughs> You're going to miss them most Yeah, I'm going to miss them so much. But I need to make the most of it. So I need to put this camera down and make the most of it. You're getting so good at doing them jumps in. Go on. Clever girl. So it's just coming up to 2 p.m. right now. I just said goodbye to my scooter and I'm just heading to the shop right now to try and find some kind of crazy inflatable that I can do some sort of a water challenge with the girls in the pool right now. It is such a boiling hot day. There's a little bit of a breeze, but you ain't feeling it around that pool. It is sweating. So I'm gonna spend the rest of my day in the pool. I kind of been holding off just until this scooter guy came and took the bike back, just probably because I didn't want him turning up and I'm soaking wet and can't go and hand it over with him. Anyway, so I'm just going to the shop and I'll see what they have, because apparently they've got some crazy inflatables in right now. Some fun stuff I can get up to with the girls. I'm feeling so bad for Sarah today. She's suffering so badly in silence, like she usually does, because she doesn't ever really complain. Where's the shop? I'm sure I saw it a minute ago. Hmm. Anyway, she doesn't ever really complain about anything at all, but you can just tell today that she is suffering so bad with her face. And it sucks because there is literally nothing I can do about it. I can't go to a pharmacy and get her any kind of medication, medication, sorry, or cream or anything like that because 
nothing works and you know she knows from experience that pretty much nothing works with her lips so there's not a lot she can do but I just feel really bad for her because she is literally suffering you know you can just tell you know when you just know someone that well you can just tell that they're suffering without them even saying and she is definitely suffering today all right so Isabel and Esme are going to take on the Lilo surfing challenge in the pool right now are you guys ready yeah. okay who's going first which one okay so let's position the Lilo ready Okay, so you've got to you've got to jump onto the lilo from the side and see if you can glide across the water like a surfboard, okay? Yeah. Alright. You ready, is it? On three, two, one, go! <laughs> 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 yeah man. Oh no! Come on, Isabel! You got this babe! You got this babe! Alright, take a run! Take a run! What babe? You know you've got this man, you've got this. Next try! Next try, you've got this next try. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's make go. Go, go, go. Oh, I you nearly did it, eh? Yes, he did it longer. <laughs> okay, it's about Flory's lava. Go, 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 go. Five, four, three. Oh. <laughs> go on, Izzy. Almost, babe. No, no. So close. Are you going, Isla? Yes. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Woo. Okay, Esme. Hold up, babe. One minute. Five, four, three, two, two one. Oh! I'm so good. Well done, Dad. You nearly did it, then, Esme. You nearly surfed. Well done, Es. Try and take a longer run and jump and just go. You know, just like just go. Hold up. <laughs> Give me a chance. Okay. So we've got us the pool actually like this, isn't it? Ready? Like, go for it. I have a minute or two. That was nearly some bodyboard in there, babe. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, man. Okay, Esme, it's your last go. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Woohoo! <laughs> I think, I think in all honesty, I think Esme is the champion of that one. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, Esme is a lot lighter. Come on then, Isla. <laughs> okay, so Esme won that round. Now they both have a Lilo each. They've got to jump onto it belly flop style and see who can glide across the pool the furthest. Are you ready, guys? Okay, you ready? Let me line them up. Get this ready. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, it's about to kadunk. Go on, Esme. You're not allowed to push, babe. You little cheat. Try again. We'll disqualify that one. Try again, Esme. You little cheater. Okay, you ready? Two, three, go. Oh, it's about to dive. Oh, well done, Esme. Well done, Ez. It's um, sad for girls when they make friends on holiday and then their friends have to go home. But then you get free lilos like this beast. Oh! <laughs> but Freya and Izzy and her family very kindly gave to us. And we got a surfboard. Yeah, man. This is the comfiest lilo I've ever been on in my entire life. I've been staying here all day. It looks pretty good. I never get the good lilos on holiday. The and Sarah wasn't lying. This one is pretty nice. In fact, I might just have an hour or two to sleep on here right now. Dad, did you push the boss? Yeah, of course I did. I'm the boss man. I'm totally not the boss man. Sarah is definitely the boss man in our house. Okay, so I told you today I was going to show you the snack bar that was uh, that's around from like middle afternoon before the dinner time menu comes on. And I think they've just put some food out, so I'm going to be able to show you. It hadn't come out, it's come out super late today, so I wasn't sure I was going to be able to show you, but it is out, so I can show you what, what you can get in the hours between lunchtime and dinner time here at the snack bar. So you've got all kind of things like cold meats, cheeses, some salad out, some tuna back there. You've got some like cake, like walnut cake I think that is at the minute. Breads for hot dogs, chips and burgers. You've also got a choice of help yourself ice creams. They're looking pretty empty at the minute, but vanilla, strawberry, 
chocolate or I think that might be toffee actually. Also throughout the day at this poolside snack bar you can get apple juices, orange juices and water, your standard fizzy drinks, plus wines, beer and slushies. Oh and coffee too. Okay, so we're just down at dinner, it's a bit later on, and for some reason, this... This has a red fire symbol next to it, and I don't know why, so I'm gonna try it. <laughs> what exploded on me? What was it? What's that? Cheese! Top of skin. Okay guys, so we promised you a hotel tour and that is exactly what we're going to give you. So right now, I'm just outside the front of the hotel. We've got some lovely cactuses here. Very pretty looking cactuses indeed. Perfect time of day today. It's just coming up, or just coming up to 7 o'clock. Super gorgeous, gorgeous sunny evening. Makes the front of the hotel look even more spanking. There we go. That's the front of our hotel right now. Lots of nice marbly on the floor here. Got our hotel sign and name. We're staying at the last Marismas in Corvaleco. So you come to the front of the hotel and it looks like this, like a domey looking thing with lots of glass everywhere. Marble on the floor. Super shiny. You're coming into the reception area. You've got some seating over here. And you're checking reception over there. As you come over to the left of the reception, there's some stairs heading downstairs to where all the dinner hall is, the restaurant, the bars and the pools and such, so let's go down there and check it out. Wow, I'm looking extra shiny on this camera right now. Whew. It's been a hot day, guys. Anyway, as you come to the bottom of the stairs, you come into this lobby area, which is kind of like a seating area indoors, like an indoor, chiller, cool, air-conditioned place. The lifts over there, there's like some computers for internet access, if you don't have that on your phone, over there. And then you walk out to the main courtyard, bar, and restaurants, so here we go. So we're walking outside right now. Come out on the left hand side is a bar and entertainment, and on the right hand side is your main your main food restaurant where you have all of your breakfast and dinner and lunch and everything. Everything happens in that restaurant just on the right there. And then that is your area where you chill at night time, have a drink in the bar, and there's some entertainment. If there's entertainment on, which there isn't every night here. In fact, I think there's only even entertainment on like two nights a week or something and that is in this area just here. Coming down, on the right hand side we have a pool and on the left hand side we have a pool. Down here, we're coming up to a little bridge. We cross this bridge into the middle of the two pools and we're going to take a quick shortcut down here. Boom! We're doing the backstage tour right now guys. Into the waterfall pool which is super pretty, I love this pool. Although we've yet to play in this pool yet, we haven't been in this pool at all yet. So this is the pool on the left hand side. Both pools are really, really large. They're actually huge. And they both look super pretty. Lots of sunbeds, lots of nice palm trees. And then your apartments are all two storey. So we've got a lower apartment and an upper apartment and they surround the pool area. Okay, going back up the backstage where we've got some little stony steps, back up onto our little bridge. So that way to the restaurants and the bar. This way to more sunbeds and the pool on the right. This is the pool that we've spent all of our time in so far. This is where we play all day long so far. It's massive, it's lined with super uber sunbeds and there are like people's apartments lined all the way along. Then we get to here, just on the left, we've got the poolside bar. This is open all day long for drinks, 
and then between 12 and 4 for snacks as well, like burgers, hot dogs. I showed you earlier today actually what they do do, ice cream and such, things like that. So that concludes our tour of the pool area, and if we move around here just to the right, this is the walk that we take every single day from the pool back to our apartment, because our apartment is actually situated round to the right, round the back of the hotel, where it's uber quiet. It's probably the quietest part of the whole hotel. It's the only group of apartments that are not near any big pool or anything, but they're still really pretty outside. So you come round the corner here and greeting you is this lovely splash pool for all the kids. It's super uber, like shallow, lined with tons of sunbeds and there's always loads of availability on them as well. There's, they never really fill up that quickly in the morning. You have to get up at around 7 a.m. to secure a sunbed around the main pools. This morning I tried to do it at 8 a.m. and I was super lucky to grab like three but that was lucky, normally there are none. You have to get up really early to do that. So you're coming up to a nice beautiful pretty bridge just here on the walk back to our apartments. You see all this area lined with ground floor and second floor apartments. And as you walk around the corner here, you come to where our apartment is, which is just there. And then one of the more interesting parts of the hotel is as you walk around the corner from where our apartment is, literally just around the corner to the opposite side of this beautiful bridge, which I need to take some pictures on before we go, you get to Crazy Golf. So we've got the hotel's own Crazy Golf. You walk around the corner from there, just up there, there is a supermarket which is open at really dodgy hours, like I think it's open from like 4 till 7 and then in the morning from 10 until 12 or something, like there's like a big gap in the middle of the day where it doesn't open at all. Okay, so this is my favourite part of the hotel, my favourite part of my morning. As I come out of my room, we've joined back onto the main path now. We come round the corner to the left and boom, Pew! we see that sight. And we're back at the pool area and that concludes our hotel tour this evening. <laughs> So we had such a super nice chilled pool day today. It was so, so lovely. It has been absolutely boiling today. The girls are just climbing into bed right now and we're gonna do the same. I'm gonna get on with editing up this vlog and we will see you guys tomorrow. We've got something absolutely epic planned for tomorrow. I'm so excited. This last five days that we've got here are absolutely jam-packed. Starting tomorrow and then something absolutely amazing on Wednesday. We've got an incredible trip coming up on Friday. I am so excited. The rest of this trip is gonna be so amazing. We are here till Saturday night, so we've got another five days, five whole days of sun left, and we're really, really excited for them. But for now, that is all from us today, guys. I'm gonna crack on. These are gonna to go to sleep, and we will see you tomorrow night at six. I hope you have a fantastic night until then. Good night, guys. I wish you a wonderful night. Mwah. Hey guys, my name is Jack and thank you so much for watching another Amaze Balls Inga family video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure if you're having a bad day, just dab on them haters. Goodbye! You've been watching an Ingham family vlog With Chris, Sarah, Izzy, Esme, Isla and the dog Every vlog is filled with love and fun